When you get a chance, it's on YouTube. I just did something on can lion hunting oh, cool. and raising awareness about it. Okay. So it's in Africa right now. They're, they're raising lions to be hunted, to be shot. To be shot. shot. Yeah. And so we're working on a documentary, and there was a, it was... It they're was called, raising lions to be shot? To be shot. By hunters now, it's so expensive to shoot lions, and it's easier. So you're basically guaranteed a lion in three days if you go to Africa. That's horrible. In South Africa. So it's about raising, because I know Diddy, too. They passed too. this law? It's legal in South Africa. Oh, really? So we're trying to raise consciousness in Desmond, too, to open up the march that was worldwide. <sighs> Yeah, so people don't know about it. Uh uh-uh, uh. So don't. when I saw that, I thought, I gotta tell you about it. Just Especially as many people are really inspired by lions. And they're so, so majestic, and they're. Well, I mean, it's not know. just lions, it's cats, period. Like, yeah. We're, we're, we're losing yeah. cats at the, the most astonishing numbers. So that's. Well, I'm gonna tweet you this. Leopards, that's yeah. cheetahs, that's all of them under the cat realm. It's just really sad. So it's, it's really sad that it's such a beautiful, beautiful animal that yeah. God has given us is almost on the road to extinction. So. So we're on we're on our way to the Global Lion March, which starts in less than an hour. I think there's going to be a lot of people there, and it gives me hope. You know, when I was in Las Vegas, I didn't feel a lot of hope because it felt like, what can I do? But now I'm starting to feel excited that we can make a change. It's funny because less than a year ago, I had never even heard of the word can lion hunting. And now I feel like, little by little, that I kind of feel like it. there's gonna be a solution. It's not gonna, you know, be all hunky-dory because we've got 8,000 lions that are still in captivity, but it needs to end, and this is the beginning. so emotional I don't want my makeup to run we're gonna be there in less than 20 minutes
The solution is stop right stop the gun lobby. It's all to do with I'm more powerful than you are. You are an animal and I can shoot you. If you go into a web some websites they have some lion hunting. Eight guys attack shooting at a lion. I mean the lion is trying to get away for God's sake and they shoot in this thing and it can't move and then they get close and a lion attacks them and takes one of the guys on the shoulder. But I was hoping he would die. I mean, pathetic have human beings. Have you seen beings. these lion hunts up close? I have. I was involved in it years ago and I left South Africa. That was one of the reasons okay. I was not willing to go through this. And tell us about your, your, your painting right here. I mean, That's your, a photograph your photograph. Two wild lions taken about 40 years ago in a country called Botswana. They just happened to be lying in the bush. And for some unknown reason, you know, what they do is they swat flies. I yeah. shouldn't say that. And the tails came together and my camera clicked. <laughs> and that I was can't it. believe yeah. it. I've got a lot of them, but that's the only one where the tails actually made a, a, a heart shape. Signs, 
I know about the orca whales. I hope they cut that out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> South Africa now there's about six to eight thousand lions that are being commercially bred for the uh, sole purpose of being hunted and so as soon as the cubs are born about two hours later they're taken away from their moms and then they're bottle fed and they're raised by humans and then they're transferred to another location and then there's about I don't know 200 or more ranches they're called high fence hunting which high fence is another way of saying hand hunting because they can't leave. Oh, you can go hunt. You don't need, it's not even hunting. It's basically shooting. You don't even need to know how to hunt. You can just call, pick the lion that you want, say, oh, I like that one, but I, wa I want it to have a, a bigger mane, so I'll pay an extra $5,000. $40,000 later, you can take home a lion and hang it, in, hang it on your wall or whatever. So it's basically spreading awareness because people don't even know that this is happening and it's legal. Yeah. So Facebook. Okay. Tell your friends. I will. Okay. Okay. Or come join the Thank march. Alright. Okay. Bye. Bye. See, so many people don't know that this is even happening. I guarantee I will interview 10 people on the street. I'll go up to 10 people on the street today. And I bet you no one outside of this rally knows what can lion hunting is. So we'll do it afterwards. We'll do a little test. Tippy, would you like to place the first flower? I'm going to place one, and after that, just anybody who wants to come up. I tried to understand the mindset, so I went to the Safari Club International Convention in Las Vegas. And I, and they, they seem to think, don't we need to do this for conservation? No, you do not need to. Conservation is a, a word that makes me sick. I mean, it's, it, it, they can see that they are, are ruining that entire population by their conserving their conservation ideas. I mean, they, they are so wrong in, in trying to put that across to everybody. It's like, it's like keeping a big cat or a, in, behind a fence. And so many people say, uh, you know, in, in the zoos or whatever. And people say, well, everybody needs to see them. Well, I'm going to give you an example. There is an animal that is the most popular animal in the world. Children can name every race of that species, and nobody's ever seen one. It's the dinosaur. The, the uh, kids can be trained, can be educated so quickly. Uh, there are wonderful shows on, on uh, the internet that they can learn from. They can, I mean, there's so many ways to learn about animals, and in a much better way than seeing them standing behind a fence, and certainly uh, conserving them so somebody can see the head on the wall and the rug on the floor. Is that conservation? No. I mean, these people are smart enough, I would assume, to understand what they're doing if they look at the numbers of the diminishing they seem, numbers. They seem to think, when I was speaking to them, that that the the anti the anti hunters as they put it 
uh, the greenies, as they put it, have it all wrong, that they don't really love the animals, they love the animals, and I'm trying to and understand wh- that so, thinking. And so you take them out, you kill them because you love them, and then, no, that, you know, I, uh, uh, what's wrong with that picture? Everything. I mean, that's a lie. There's mm-hmm. been a, a rise of um, female hunters, which is interesting oh. to me. <sighs> that's not the way we want women to g- find their power. <laughs> You know, it's not, it's yeah. weak. I think hunters are the m- main problem we have as far as wildlife goes. Hunters, because they get some kind of power kick out of killing the animals, and they're not in tune with the soul of the animal. And um, they're very rich, usually. They have a lot of say-so. A lot of them are government officials. Um, I learned this when I went to the President's Advisory Council. One of the main people on his council, one of the leaders, was president of the Safari Club. What? Yes. And And because he was there, he got lots of time to talk, and he had other people there who were speaking up for hunting. I'm sure a lot of people who you want to get involved and like me feel like this is so overwhelming what can I do I can't do anything what do you what do you say to that thought process well that's one reason we had this event because our main purpose was to raise consciousness and tell people what's going on because most people don't know that much about can hunting you know they keep it secret like like I said even the volunteers go over there to help they think they're helping the lions who are without their mother they don't know it's part of this nefarious scheme and they're just helping the lion breeders to make more money and petting the lion cubs and all that that's the way they twist things around they have they have a lot of money they have slick PR that twists it and makes it seem like the hunting is you know it's part of the conservation somehow and 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 they try to make people who don't think that that look like they're wusses and stuff like that and you know we just have to keep raising our voice till we are more powerful than they are. Was there one thing in particular that happened to you personally that made you want to start this organization? Um, I've just read a lot of books. I've um, watched a lot of documentaries. I think that images and film is so powerful in in really touching you and, and teaching you. And knowledge really is power. And I think the more that you read, the more documentaries that you watch, the more you, f- you find out what's going on in the world, it really compels you to want to change things. And that's just what happened with me. It started with, you know, going vegan and, and realizing what's going on with our food system and the factory farming and, and the hormones and antibiotics and ew, I don't want to partake in that. And then it just led to other animal rights things. And then it led to, you know, the, the pesticides and GMOs that are ruining our, our food supply and threatening other species and the bees, which are so important to pollination. I mean, there's so much out there and it can be overwhelming and depressing. And um, it's important to just keep that hope and just say, you know what, there are people who care because if you turn on the TV, it seems like, you know, no one cares. They care more about, you know, the real world on MTV than they care about our real world so it's a matter of just getting like-minded people and the good people of the world together in one place and saying no we do care and we're going to make a change and we can do it together so um i feel privileged to be connected with such incredible activists who are inspiring people around the world to step up for our wildlife um i i see i mean people are kind of like well they're not our lions well I think they are. I think there's a global wildlife heritage and the wild animals in Africa, I feel are my animals just as much as the mountain lions in my backyard in the San Gabriel Mountains. Um, And I think we all need to feel that sense of protectiveness. And um, so I was privileged to be able to take Christy Brinkley and her daughter Sailor and the wonderful Chinese actress Bai Ling to South Africa to help raise awareness about the threats to the rhinos, and rhino poaching, especially in South Africa, also the situation of lions in South Africa and across Africa, and then to Kenya where we focused a lot on the elephants. And I wish that everybody would have that experience. And I'm very grateful for celebrities like Christy and others, Kristen Davis and whatever, who are raising awareness about our interconnectedness to these incredible beings who may vanish in the next 
10, 15, 20 years, and it would be an incredible shame for that to happen. And to honestly, we actually have a client who has participated in canned hunting. Oh. And it was, I posted on my Facebook page that it was a lesson in non-judgment. And he explained to us what it was like and the, the, the challenge and the quote-unquote sport about it. But I, I, I think that there's a level of consciousness that you reach where even though that's fun and it's historical sport and his parents did it and maybe his grandparents did it and it's kind of part of the culture of the pioneering spirit of go out there and you know, kill an animal, whether it's a deer here in America or a, a lion in a canned hunting facility in Africa. I, I, I think at some point humanity will raise its frequency, its spiritual frequency, its emotional frequency, its intellectual frequency to see what is the truth, and that is that they are precious God beings, as precious as all others, and that it is in fact murder. It's not hunting, it's murder. best line I heard today was one man said, if you want to shoot a lion, then go shoot a lion with your camera. And then give out trophies and awards for who got the best photo. So maybe we can all start doing that or maybe the, the hunters can start doing that.